hi everyone welcome to my channel welcome back to another update on my project polish polish pan this will be my second update on my quadrimester project polish polish pan and i feel like i've made some good progress let me jump into the ones that i didn't use as much the first one is this beautiful icy blue that i really do love i just haven't felt like wearing it much I did use it for swatching some toppers in some other videos, but I only used this for a pedicure this month, and it hasn't made much progress. We're still right on that line, so we shall see if we make any more progress on this one. I feel like the December update will probably have the most use going into the actual winter weather, We'll probably get more use out of that one. Same with this next one. This one is like a metallic icy purple. And again, we are still right at that line. I did utilize this for the witch's fingers. If you saw my Halloween spectacular and that was a full manicure and still not much progress. This is a one coater, one swipe, and so you don't really need much of it when you utilize it. So I'll probably be holding on to this one for a while because it takes a minute to make some visible progress. So we shall see, but this is where we are at. Again, this one might be good for that December zone where we're going from December into January, but we shall see. The next one I really love. I love the shade and I love utilizing this one. So I did make some visible progress. There is the next line. We came from here to here. Usually I show you guys the progress lines, but I actually did film this video previously and I had to scrap it because there was awful, awful background noise and it was just too distracting. So I did make the line already, but this is where we're at now. And we did make a nice visible jump there from the bottom line to the very newest line. So that was good. And hopefully I can finish this one up by the end of the year. I really like using it. So I do have high hopes for this one. Same with the next one. I really like this one and it's really glittery and fun and it has multiple uses. You can build it up for full opacity or you can use it as a topper. It's this julep. This one is called Kila, and it is a beautiful glitter polish. We jumped from here to here. I don't know if you can see the actual fill through there. There we go. And there we are now. So I have high hopes for this one. It has a little bit of hollow in it and it's just really enticing to wear. It looks good over stuff, but it makes a really beautiful full opacity mani as well. So that is the progress. Nice visible jump on this one. The next one oof this one's kind of rough so this one did go a little up a little down a little up a little down um but we did make some visible jump here i accidentally just turned it on its sides the polish is everywhere but if you can see in there then you'll see that it is down here at this line there we are all the way around to the label there we go it's starting to settle and we are up to here now we made this visible jump from here to here and this one is really pretty and really fitting for the season um this one is technically a franken bottle now this was the same color, it's always been the same color, but it's a little more opaque now, and this is why. I finished this one, which is my No Name Orange by Julep, and we jumped from here to here, but the thing is, there was a tiny little bit of polish at the bottom, so I went ahead and scraped that out. It wasn't even enough for like a um, accent nail on a manicure. 
So I went ahead and scraped that out and I dumped that in here. It was like a dropper less. I really, I shouldn't have even messed with it, but I did. And this one, it made it a little more opaque and it didn't mess with the color because I added a drop of this one as well. Sam by Julep, the bright lime green. I finished it. It went from here all the way to the end again. It was a little trapped. And so I scraped that out and popped it into this one. So yeah, I finished both of these. So yeah, I finished both of these. From there and there, down to the end, finished those up. And then the last thing that I threw into this was kind of a bonus, and that was the oxygen nail treatment. And this one had like a third to a fourth left, and I just went ahead and finished that baby off. So this one's done, and even though I didn't technically roll it in at any point, um, once that one was done, I went ahead and started using this one, which is the more pink version of the oxygen nail treatment, and I did mark it. It was full, and now we're like all the way down here. So I have high hopes for this. And that is what we're working with. So we made three empties. That's really awesome for me. I love to have used up some polishes and made a little room. So this is what we're working with now. We're back to the original six. There is only five colors. So we're going in with our blue and purple, the more icy metallic -y ones. We've got our Glitter Bomb and our Purpunk Purple. And we have our Little Eye Glow and our Oxygen Nail Treatment. Now, my predictions are that I can finally use this one up. Hopefully, we shall see. And I really like using this one, so maybe we'll finish it up, but probably not till the next month. We shall see, but... This is what we have left in the project. That was my progress. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.